you have learned in the previous lesson that microscope is composed of parts and function. In this lesson, you will study some appropriate techniques on how to use a compound microscope to gather information about very small objects. In a laboratory, a small sample of something like cells, plasma, tissues, or any part from an organ or organism that represents a whole are used from which a diagnosis is rendered or other determination of said object's nature is made. These samples are called specimens. In determining the characteristics of these samples, these specimens are examined under a microscope. Do you want to know the procedure and how to focus the specimens? When carrying out activity using a microscope in the laboratory, there are necessary reminders that you have to observe and follow carefully. Carry the microscope with your both hands. Grasp the arm with one hand and place the other hand under the base for support. Second, put the microscope on a table with the arm towards you. Do not touch the glass part of the lenses with your fingers. Then, use only a special lens paper to clean the lenses. Last, keep your microscope covered when not in use. There are several steps to follow when examining specimens under the microscope. How do you focus the specimen using compound microscope? Here are the steps. First, put a slide on the stage, position the specimen over the opening on the stage, and use the stage clip to hold it in place. Then, check the stage from the side. Slowly, turn the course adjustment knob to low power the body tube until the low power objective almost touches the slide. Turn the course adjustment knob to raise the body tube. Then look into the eyepiece and turn the fine adjustment knob until the specimen is properly focused. While looking into the eyepiece, adjust the diaphragm and the mirror until you see a bright white circle of light. Then shift to high power objective lens. Gently revolve the nose piece until the high power objective lens clicks in place. Be sure that the lens will hit the slide. Next, rotate the nose piece until the low power objective lens clicks into place. The last step is look into the eyepiece and gently turn the course adjustment knob until you get the clear focus of the specimen. The compound microscope may contain two to three objectives. This objective has its own magnification number. The shortest one, marked three times, four times, or five times, is called the scanner. The low power objective is marked 10 times or 12 times, whereas the high power objective is marked 40 times, 43 times, or 60 times. The total magnification with which you are viewing the object can be calculated by multiplying the magnification of the eyepiece lens by the magnification of the objective lens you are using. For example, the eyepiece magnification is 10 times and the objective magnification is 4 times. 4 times 10 is equivalent to overall magnification of 40. This means that the object you are viewing is magnified 40 times. Isn't that amazing? That's it! I hope you learned a lot from today's session. Thank you so much for tuning in.